Today I'm going to change my fog lights. First thing, you have to find the right fog light. If you look at this one, you see on there there's a number, and this one has a number 880. I'm going to do both of them even though just one burned out. These are the fog lights down here, and as you can see, they're not that easy to get to. What you have to do is take out the headlight and then you'll have room to stick your hand down there. And you could reach down, pull the, the um, light out. So let's do that. This car, the headlights are held in just by three screws or 10 millimeter. One there, one there, one there. There's a little thing that holds it at the base that it snaps into. You may as well replace them in pairs because they go dead about the same time. This is a cheap Harbor Freight impact gun, wireless gun, it comes in so handy. It's two, one more. Put the camera down ways and I don't want to drop the screw. Then you pull on this end because there's a tab inside in there that you undetach it from. It's easier with two hands. And I'm going to use two hands. And these, there's two plugs, a big one and a little one. You just push down on a tab, there and there, tabs. One, two. I'm going to try to get the oxidation off these since I have them off. I saw a YouTube video how to do that. Here, just rotate this round thing counterclockwise. It lifts off, this keeps the water out of them. Pull off the harness. No clips or anything, it's just a friction fit. Turn the base of the bulb counterclockwise. Be 45, 45th of a turn, quarter of a turn or so. So this bulb will keep because it's good. I'll go get the new one and put that in. 
It's pretty easy to do. Here's the new bulb. The hardest thing of the whole thing was um, getting these lights aligned properly. And they put a notch on one side, if you could see it right there. So you got to get it lined up just right. It, you have to have it about an angle like that, and then turn it. And then when it's when the flat side is horizontal, then it's in place. But it's very hard to get these tabs to fall into their grooves because you can't see what you're doing. You do it by feel. You're like the bulb is facing that way, <laughs> so you're blindly stick this light in the hole and you're blindly trying to get these tabs to get into their right holes and when that notch is about here is when it slips in and then you turn it half a turn more then it locks it in there's the headlight one of them and you could see how dull it is it's, it's totally oxidized so the process is sand it with various grits of sandpaper getting finer and finer and then at the end you spray it with a clear coat paint. So I'm going to try that. Just hope I don't make it worse than it, than it is right now. Then I'll have to buy headlights and these are like 80 bucks a piece. This is the headlights. I finished the restoration process. And they came out good. All the restoration processes, you sand it with very fine sandpaper. The finest I used was um, 1,200. And then you spray it with some clear coat paint. When you're done sanding it, wet sanding it, it's just uh, fogged over. And you get nervous, it's like, holy crap, you can't see, the light isn't even going to be able to go through these. But when you spray it with this clear coat, it magically becomes clear. This is the clear coat I used. I don't know anything about its durability. It was the only clear coat the auto store had. And it says it resists chips and... Um, it's weather resistant, so that's good enough. <laughs> if it has issues, I could redo it again. There is some orange peeling, but it's minor, and I'm not even going to bother wet sanding it. You could wet sand it and get orange peeling off, 